Hello, my name is Scott for SP Gaming. We are back here in Prison Architect. It is the second episode of my third prison, and it is episode 48 overall. And yeah, we have a decent layout here that I went through over in the previous episode, so we might as well get started. The first thing I'm going to want to do is get the offices set up, so that is the very, very first thing I'm going to do, and actually staff, we are going to hire, uh, yeah, another four, and I'm just going to do this. That's it. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to just do that, and what I would like to do as well is I want to set up a storage room, probably something like right here. And yeah, in this space like that. And this will allow the guys to grab stuff as they need it. And it'll prevent the deliveries from overflowing. So we are going to, yeah, put a staff door. Staff door here, staff door here. This is the security room, but uh, yeah, let's crank things up to level two. And I really want to get this done as quickly as possible. We are going to want to hire a warden so that we can get on with the bureaucracy. And they are unloading the basic items that you need. And of course, more trucks. And they are getting started on that. Once this is done, I will probably add the security office. And probably also the power block. I just want to focus on this first. And yes, indeed. Uh, We're going to designate. Can we? Yeah, we probably can't designate rooms yet. Let's let them get this done. And they are done. And rooms, office. This is going to be the warden's office. And it seems like when you lay down foundations, any of the pathway planning marks that you had are gone. They are just gone. You have to recreate them. I'm also going to put in staff room right here right there and we are going to want to have objects filing cabinet right about let's uh, put the office desk in first I'm gonna put yeah right there we're gonna put in filing cabinet there and share let's get on that and before I do <laughs> Yeah, dismantle these lights. I will place them how I want to place them. Because you guys always pick the really worst spots. Yeah, that, that works for me. Like that. And yeah, here and here. Let's uh, take those. Um, actually, no. <laughs> actually, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, we got the warden. Or not, we got the warden. We got the warden's office. And one of the annoying things about this game is that the alert that the research is done is not very loud, and I often miss it. And what's frustrating is that they removed the on-screen back when bureaucracy was an entry down here. You had all of the research that you were ongoing and a blue bar that filled up as research was complete. I think it also showed the percentage so you could actually see a reminder on screen without having to highlight here how long it is. Anyway, yeah, we are getting on with finance. And we need something for our workers to do. Well, we are going to lay down a second office right here. And we are obviously going to put in their desk. And yeah, 
We are also going to put in the desk for the other people. Uh, right here, and right here, and something like right here. We're going to put in their chairs. Like that, and finally cabinets. I'm going to throw it at the back. Put a cabinet there, cabinet there, and one right there. And so once finance is done, we'll hire the accountant. And are my guys just standing around? Well, let's get them dismantling some trees, shall we? Yes, please. We can leave these trees because they're fine. But uh, those got to go. And do we have any... Don't worry yourself about that. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so it looks like those are done. So we are going to set up more foundations. And I'm actually going to do this first. But before I do that, I'm going to take a look at intake. Yes. Let's close the intake for now. Because what we don't want to do is have them bring prisoners in at this point. Because, well, we are not ready. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, we are going to build the death row first, and yep, that. Have to do this as well, and we are also going to, of course, do the reception room and the holding cell. And it, of course, requires an entrance, so we are going to put in objects. Staff door here and here. We're going to put in a large jail door here and here. It's going to be one here. One there, one there. Yep, I'm going to put a jail door there. And we will, get, of course, get on with that. Any other doors I need to add? We're going to put a jail door here. Put those there. And... We might as well also put down the power blocks. Power station here. Power station. Oh, bother. Let's put this power station here, and of course the capacitors. We want to get power and water up as soon as possible, for reasons. And I am going to sell object. Yeah, just don't worry about it. Just keep working. <laughs> Just keep on working. Ah, yes, there are some stumps. So I'm going to add a foundation. Last time, I spent so long waiting for the the foundation or for the stumps to get removed that I failed to realize that uh, I could have just uh, put down the foundations. So we are going to build this. I'm going to build these cells. And of course, the autosave. Looks like we got power. You guys are okay. I am going to also put down some fence along here. What I'll probably do, just because it's a... Oh, you got the capacitor going on. That's good. Fence like this. I 
like that for now. Oh, bother. Of course. We are just going to dismantle these lights because I don't like those lights where they are. Those are silly places for lights. Yes, I would eventually move them all. Look at that. You, you uh, place the lights down and then you put the wall up. Then you had to dismantle the lights. Really? Uh, yes, of course. Oh, we can get rid of those lights. Uh -huh. Yes, indeed. And now, of course, we have to have you dismantle lights that you just spent time putting in. Just a, such a waste of time overall. Alright, so I what I want to have is this power block is going to I'm gonna run this this way, up like this, and down this to here. I'm gonna run this power up to here. It's going to go into the maximum security cell block. It's also going to supply this area of death row. Probably just do that. And I will probably have, hmm. This one is probably going to supply most of the cell blocks. So it should be able to handle the chair. I'm going to do this up like that. That should be good. Power. This, yeah, it's on. And this is just going to be run, run over there. Really? Ah, <laughs> uh, that will dismantle the door as well. Alright, this requires an entrance. Of course it does. Objects, staff door, right there. Oh, bother. <sighs> yeah, okay, yeah, they're still working on those. That's fine. Let's lay down these walls. And, of course, let's put in the glass wall. Did I? Oh, that's right. Objects. Staff door. They're just going to go directly into the execution room like that. How are things doing over here? Install staff door. Are you going to get around to it? Nope. All right. And good, I haven't missed uh, finance. <laughs> but we got that office ready to go. We got these offices ready to go. And we might as well also set up the staff room. Staff room requires a wide sofa, which I'll put right there. And which I'll put right there. And now I'm also going to put in some fence along here. This is the kennel, so it can be fenced in. Actually, I'm going to Well, 
like this, and I may want to. Mm, Your finance. All right, so staff, accountant. There it is. We got the accountant. And now, if we go up to bureaucracy, we'll get the security chief. We'll get a land expansion. And then I will designate another office. And yes, I'll have the security chief down here. Does this still require an entrance? Okay, let's just uh, cancel that then. Foundations. Building concrete. Let's do that. And then I'll have that. Well, alpha is alpha. <laughs> All right, so might as well get these rooms designated. This is a visitation room. There is a parole room here. We got reception right here. We got holding cell right here in this spot. We got cells. Oh, bother. Really? Demolish wall. And we're not going to be able to get to the, uh, designate the execution room. So that is fine. All those are fine. Are you guys going to work on this? Land expansion, 11%. We're at $894,000. It is currently 5 p.m. on day one. And things are going quite well for us. And yeah, I'm going to want to make sure that storage is accessible. That would be always bad if you lock up the storage room without actually... Uh, <laughs> Let's uh, continue. Uh, what? Job blocked. Install electrical cable. No route. What's going on here? What I am going to do foundation concrete. Is I'm going to run the concrete down this way. And I'm also going to run it this way to about there. I'm going to run the concrete going this way as well to about there and run this concrete. To about, uh, yeah, right there. That's fine. We all don't want to have the canteen, so I might, or the kitchen. So I'll do that as well. And let's let them get on with that. Staff door there. We are going to have a large jail door here. This is just going to be a standard door and a staff door. Oh, bother. I'm also going to run the this up to about here all right 
let's get these cells set up. I know we don't can't bring in any death row prisoners just yet, but might as well get it set up so it's ready to go. And if we decide to bring in some prisoners early, this is a good uh, small test facility to do so. We're going to put down toilets. Right there, and shower heads. Where's shower head? Right there. And what I can be, do is be generous and I'll give them a prayer mat. Right about there, yeah. Right there, like that. And I don't know why that is there. I believe, yeah, we're gonna put in fence here, but I am going to put in a jail door. Right there. Do they got this? Foundations in progress. All right, let's uh, hire up some uh, more staff. Got 12 workmen, three and four. How are we doing for? All right, good. We are on speed two. So after land expansion, I'm going to get an extra grant and I'm going to get maintenance after security. Install electrical cable, no route. Why do they got no route? They can grab the stuff from here. There's no no route blocking them. There's no reason no reason that uh, it should say job is blocked. What are my staff doing right now? He's doing that, he's doing that. Oh. <laughs> Did you lock yourself in, boys? <laughs> All right, so about that. Let's uh, put in a jail door. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Well, that would explain that would explain why uh, they were at least uh, <laughs> I was getting some of these tasks as uh, no route because well if they were assigned to do those tasks, they obviously had no route. Wow. Um. So. Let's take a look at our staff. He's doing something. He's doing something. He's doing something. He's running around. He's doing something. He's doing something. He's doing something. They're doing something. He's running around. He's doing something. He's building a fence. He's building a fence. He's sending wire. He's carrying wire. And he's doing something. Hey, we got... Oh, bother. Yes, this is the last place I want you to put the... 
One thing when they put the lights over top of a a generator, the wires actually can't technically connect to it. So what you'll end up having is this blinking light. I've had that before and it was really, really annoying. You'd be surprised how annoying it could actually be. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, yeah, we are going to also dismantle these other two lights. I wouldn't doubt if that one was going to be the same thing. And put in power station right here. Capacitors. And, of course, the water station right there. Now, we are going to, of course, want water. So we're going to need water like that. We are going to have that. We are going to have water here. We're going to send water in this, no, in this direction. Yeah, straight up here. And up to maximum security. They're gonna hook on to there. They're gonna hook on to there. They're gonna hook on to there. And yeah, I suppose we need lights in here. Well, we don't really need lights, but uh, I'll put them there, actually. There and there. Yeah, that'll be fine. Electric cable. Oh. In here. What I'm going to do is send this not up that way. <laughs> not yet, anyway. I'm going to send this all the way. No, it's already going that way. That's right. I'm going to plug my kitchen into this. All right, so it is 1.25 in the morning on day two. We have $847,000 in the bank. And yeah, we have a lot of stuff we are in the process of building. We don't yet have a valid holding cell, but we can of course get this taken care of. Um, and of course, toilets like that. That will be obviously a valid holding cell. And yeah, I might as well put in the tables for reception, office desk, like that, and chair. Anyway, that is going to be it for me today for this episode of Prison Architect on our third mega prison. Yes, indeed. It'll be a minimum of 500 prisoners. It could be up to 1,000. It all depends. If there is that cell block E or F grant, which is for a thousand prisoners, which I don't yet know, then I wouldn't really want to do a fourth prison just to get up to a thousand prisoners. So I am considering making this one the big one, the big, big one. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching this episode of Prison Architect. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and as always, have a good day.